Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sword Art Online Odd. This is Quentin, and this is going to be the infamous episode zero. And this is going to be for all viewers, old and new. This is going to be the starting off point because we had a little bit of difficulties on our earlier episodes. Their quality wasn't the best, but it was more the enthusiasm that brought us into podcasting and we really just wanted to dive straight in but we didn't really do all of our research properly so in order to get around the bad audio quality we tried to touch it up but it's still not as good as we wanted it to be so this is going to be a double whammy uh the first thing this is going to do is this is going to go over some of the events that happened before we started recording but also it's going to be a recap of basically the first six episodes um, after which, of course, our quality greatly improved and we introduced a lot of new characters. So uh, this is going to be me and Snow hashing it out like we did in the good old days. So say hi, Snow. Hey, I'm Snow. Wow, amazing. All right, so I, I guess we're going to start off. So you recently purchased, I guess, your NURB gear because that's what uh, Sword Art Online was played on. And uh, I guess you're you're unboxing it right now. Are you I got room? it from Game Go. Game Go. Yeah. The opposite of GameStop because GameStop closed. So, oh, yeah. I, I heard they rebranded and they renamed themselves Game Halt. Yeah, no, there, there was Game Halt and then there was also Game Go. Mm. So I went to Game Go and I picked up my Nerve Gear. Okay. Game Go is amazing. Let is me just it? tell you. They don't try and sell you useless things and memberships that you don't need? No. And actually, they purchased back all of the uh, games and whatnot for double the value. <laughs> so you walk in, new game, $50. You sell it back used, they pay you 100 Exactly. Game <laughs> it's Go. It's amazing that they're still in business. Oh no, they're probably going to go out of business. They can't. It, it's like a startup that literally happened two days ago, you know, selling Nerve Gear. So you got your new Nerve Gear from Game Go. Yes, you, Game Go. N- nice, fresh out of the box. I I guess it's not like it's. Is it still in the box? Have you opened it? Have you tried it on? Have you plugged it in? Where are you? I I am laying down on my bed in my apartment. Is your child there? My my little girl is uh in the other room. Mm eating is she Mm -hmm. she makes a lot of noise she does i can verify (laughs) (laughs) this will be important later i'm sorry we um you'll see (laughs) so you're lying on your bed right now you've unboxed your your new nerve gear set you've uh plugged it into the wall you're kind of alone in your apartment um with only your child in the other room and you boot it up do you say anything well, the game doesn't start until I say the uh, the phrase. So Snow is laying on her bed and she pulls down the visor of the nerve gear. Link, start. And as you say this, the world begins to form around you. And But, but by the world, like you saw the box art cover when you purchased the game and it looked like it was going to be like hyper realistic. But you seem to be in a white room. And just you hear as if in an amazing surround sound, it seems to be coming from every possible direction. You're just like, hello, welcome to Sword Art Online. He- hello, where where are you? You're in character creation. I look around and I look down at myself and I look around again. So where's the character creation? Like, where's the body? Like the avatar? You're the body. In Sword Art Online, we try to emulate a perfect reality system. So we're creating a character based off you. Interesting. Could we not and say we didn't? No, we can't. That is not an option. So we're going to use you as the basis. But of course, anything you select will modify your appearance. Okay, so can I get like a size D and... That's too outside our limitations of modifications because the basis in which you provide <laughs> was not within those constraints. Dang. All right. Well, not like I'd want them anyway. Fine. Gee whiz. Okay. So where we start? The first thing you would select is you would select your race and then class. What was your name? My name is Alice. What does Alice stand for? 
It stands for Live Intelligence Computational Executable, but people just call me Alice. Where's the A? It's silent. So Artificial Live Intelligence Computer Executable? That works, but how can something be artificial and alive? Well then, shall we continue with your character creation? So where do we start with this? Well, if you listen to the instructions that I detailed out a few minutes ago, you would first start by selecting your race, in which there are three dozen options. Okay, so out of all three dozen, which one are humanoid? Almost all of them. How about, how about we go with elf? El elf would be fun. What a splendid choice. That is very popular amongst many individuals in this community. So, would you like to continue with your character creation? The next option would be your class. Okay, listen, Alice? There are over 300 options. Okay, listen, Alice, show me which class has the cutest endgame outfit. Computing all different possible outfits for endgame characters. There are over 1,200 different variants. And you just see, like, a giant slideshow of panels appear before you. Oh, well, that, that's mildly overwhelming. Alice, can we... You also have to understand that most of these outfits can be changed and or modified based on in-game equipment and character customization options. Okay, let me see what the default cutest end-game outfit is. I can't give opinions on these matters, but I could provide you with the base class default end-game outfits. Sure. I guess. I don't know what base class means, but we can go with that. So before you appear, 10 different outfits. You have one in sterling silver and gold armor clad from head to toe. The model has flowing hair and a majestic shield and sword at their side. They seem proud and straight and powerful and mighty as they stand glistening above all the others. Next. Okay, not paladin. <laughs> You next see before you a rather simplistic and yet elegant blue and white robe. Someone holding a golden staff and has a, a weird floppy hat on their head. Next. Um, not cleric. You now see before you someone in a deep purple and blue robe and has what appears to be like a hat with a nice point on the top. Next. Of I'm a very visual person, Alice. You got to understand. So my visual aesthetic needs to be pleased. Next. You see someone before you in rough leather. Um, it, it seems clad and like kind of short cut with interesting hide and a nice cape and greenery about them with a sword on their side. Next. Not fighter. You see before you someone dressed in very plain clothing, um, almost all white and tan. There doesn't seem to be much about them. They're wearing sandals and... Next! Not monk. And this goes on through all the classes. Okay. So, looks like the designers had no real style or taste. Okay, how about this? Show me the leather one again. Well, there are a couple of leather options. The primary ones that wear leather as their outfits would generally be fighter, barbarian, and ranger. Hmm. I don't think I'd make for a good barbarian. Don't got enough meat on my bones. That could be supplemented by the barbarian rage quality, which will temporarily increase your strength and constitution. Listen, man, lady, thing, artificial intelligence system. Live intelligence computational executable. Artificial. Got it. I don't want to be raging in hormones. I already have enough issues as it is. Okay. Now, ranger or fighter. You know what? I want to get into the meat of things, so why not just dive right on in? Okay, fine. Okay, let's go with fighter. What a wonderful choice. I'm sure you won't regret it. Here, generating your character. Welcome to the wonderful world of Sword Art Online. Okay, so you load into the game. Your character literally pixelates before your eyes and your HUD starts to recognize things. You appear to be in an absolutely massive coliseum. Mass, like I said, giant archways, dozens of them. 
It's just a giant circular building spanning hundreds of feet in diameter. Each archway is dozens of feet tall, and there seem to be many different layers and levels to everything. As the brickwork is intricately designed around you, you see this entire plaza is just filled to the brim with almost what you assume to be probably every player in the game. I'm starting to see a pattern here with dozens. Maybe I should keep an eye on the number 12. Or seven. Or or seven. I, I heard a lot of twelves in there. It was a baker's dozen. <laughs> okay. There there are a lot of people here. There are a lot of people there. Okay. I look at my inventory. What do I have on me? Nothing. You have your base starting clothing. Okay. You do see that you have a voucher. Ooh. What's the voucher for? You click on it, and then a detailed list comes up, and you see its title and name says Adventurer's Voucher, used for the purchase of exactly one weapon and Adventurer's Pack. You have a thousand gold on you, too. Okay. Sweet. So I have money, and I have this voucher. Okay. Looks like I'm probably going to have to go to the general store, and I try to familiarize myself with all of the commands really quickly, and I find the mini HUD, Mm -hmm. and I kind of, like, try to maneuver my way towards the closest general goods store. Sure. So you start to make your way out of the Coliseum and you're making your way under a giant archway and the door is closed and bolted. You are unable to open it. I kind of look around. Is anyone else trying to go through it? No, everyone mostly is idly chatting in the waiting lobby. And you see a giant timer above the center of the plaza and it looks like it's counting down. Oh, I guess, I guess the world's not open yet. Weird. Okay, so I walk back around. And I'm, I'm look. I just kind of look around, see see who my competition is. So you're scoping out a lot of individuals. Most people seem to be here in groups, small parties, anywhere from ranging from you see a one rather uh, tall and elegant woman and a really burly man st- standing next to each other, and you also see. Just daggles of different party members, all in groups of three or more, mostly. A couple of pairs um, dotting around the place, but everyone seems to be talking with friends or other individuals within the game right now. (laughs) They have friends. What weaves? I don't need friends right now. You do see a couple of individuals off to the side. Um, There is one person just sitting on a stone slab over by... Uh, an entranceway, he's just kind of pushing at the menu and he looks like he's getting very frustrated. Uh, there are a couple of other people, they're playing games, they've got uh, like hacky sacks and balls and they're throwing around and everyone's, yeah, man. I kind of look at them a little leery like, why are you playing games inside of a game? Why are there mini games? This is a game. I'm so confused. We're waiting for the game to launch, man. We still got four minutes and 53 seconds. I guess I go over to the guy who looks like he's frustrated and kind of sure. say, hey, um, hey. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you there. Uh, hi. Can, can I help you? I uh, I noticed. Are you having trouble? No, I'm I'm fine. I'll, I'll figure it out. Are you sure? I, no. I, why do you keep why do you keep pushing me on this? Like, I don't I don't know what's going on with this menu. It's complicated. Okay? I go over and I sit next to him. Okay, so... I How t- do I check my inventory? I, I kind of take his hand and I, I grab it, like, with both my hands, I'm assuming, because... Is he, is, is, are his hands larger than mine? Cause oh, I this man is hand. much larger than you. Okay. So you're, like, five foot four. You're a frail little thin frame. I'm five foot six in this game. Oh, okay. So you got a height increase. Yeah, because I'm an elf. There you go. Yeah. El- elves boosted your height. You're still a very thin, frail framed. You're deceivingly thin actually because your character is pretty strong but yeah so I take his hand and I I wrap my hands both my hands kind of around his wrist and I kind of guide his finger and I'm like okay go here yeah now press the button okay menu there you go see now where's inventory I, I, I probably have to roll to look because I don't know <laughs> you've been poking around in this but you still have no idea the general layout uh, it's 11 Do I see it? Yes, because it is a very intuitive design where on the left-hand side there is a menu bar and one of the tabs say inventory. Oh, come on now. A monkey could do this. And I just move his hand to the inventory. I had a pet monkey once. What? Really? No. Oh. 
I thought that was kind of cool. Like, yeah, no, I didn't have any pet monkeys. My mom didn't let me have any pets. Oh, except a dog. Well, but what happened he, to the dog? Oh, you know, uh, mom said it, he he ran away um, because he went he went to a better place. Oh, um, I'm sure he's happy there. He was a good boy. And and Snow's just thinking, this guy is so ignorant. <laughs> So roll a perception check on him. See if you can notice anything more about the man other than you know that his hand is larger than yours. Nine. Nice. Uh, You do manage to get that he is a rather stockily built man. He's not too much taller than you, honestly, but he is like thick with like a bunch of C's and a Q at the end and apparently a CH, uh, a little bit of phlegm added there because he's a chunky boy, not fat, but just like well built and toned. He seems to just be like a large man. Well, hi, my name is, um, I look up at my name tag. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm Snow. Yeah, because we do, real names, not a real thing. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what do you mean real names aren't a real thing? Well, I mean, I look at his gamer tag. What does it say? So you look up at his name tag um, after uh, gazing him over um, and you see above his like br- dirty brown hair there's his name tag up there and it just says the destroyer underscore looks like somebody took your uh, original name destroyer hey man i i didn't pick this um this was picked for me oh well hi destroyer my name is uh, snow please don't don't, don't no it's, it's patronizing it's, the name's wilson oh well, hi, Wilson. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Um, so I, I guess you're probably going to get back to whatever group you're with then. Um, thanks for your help, though. Uh, yeah, group that I'm with. Yeah. Yeah, that that group kind of looks around really awkwardly. No, you know what? She's not even hiding it. She's like, yeah, that group that I'm with. <laughs> Friends. Uh, I wish I had some of those. You're lucky. Well, my God, man. I was just kind of hopping into this game because I heard they had some really realistic nature sites and I figured it would be cheaper just to buy this game than go out on like a hiking trip or anything. No, I think it'd be cheaper to go out on a hiking trip. Well, uh, not really. Did you go to GameGo as well? I was just going to refund it and get double my money back. (laughs) God dang, (laughs) GameGo. Back at it again. Um... Um, I was kidding, Wilson. I'm I'm not with anybody in this game right now. Oh, I mean that's surprising because you're like really nice. Uh, you, I'm surprised you're not meeting up with anyone. Well, I mean I am looking for someone. No, oh, maybe I can help you find them. Maybe. I, um, yeah. I I don't know what the name tag for this person is. I, then how how are you supposed to meet them? Did they give you like a location, a time? There was once. I'm pretty sure it's changed by now. What do you mean? Um, don't don't worry about it. It's uh, fine. I mean, your friend. Wow, this, this sounds like a bad friend. Not giving you like a proper place to meet up with them or anything. Hold on, Snow needs to roll. We'll save on that. Yeah. It's a six. <laughs> you were noticeably upset. My eyes start to water. Yeah. Bad friend. Oh no, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to like insult them or anything. It's Better just nope. Go, go on right ahead. Do it. Do Rip what? it off. Rip, what? Rip the bandaid off. Do yeah, it. Do what bandaid? Say it. Say it. See, it's a bad friend. Bad boyfriend he was. And as you're <laughs> saying this, you just hear a fanfare of trumpets and confetti everywhere. And you notice that above you, the um, the timers flashing just big letters. Uh, or big numbers. <laughs> big uh, letters are flashing uh, in the up. numbers. Big numbers are flashing in the skies. It's just the number zero, and it seems like the countdown has begun, and it is finally time for the game to begin. Well, Wilson, um, I, I guess you're probably... I know you say you don't have anyone to meet up with, but I, I mean, I was going to do this alone, but... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen! Boys and girls. Hopefully not too many children in this game, because that would be terrible. Hope you didn't bring your kids. Uh, well, anyways, I'm the creator of this wonderful game, Sword Art Online. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, I made it hyper-realistic, so trust me, it'll be just like your experiences in the real life. And there's only one caveat. Um, I was having issues getting enough people to play the beta test, so there are going to be a couple of bugs. 
Um, one of them was never fixed. Uh, yeah, none of you can leave. What? And on a side note, um, we were, we were having technical difficulties, which in line the fact that uh, if you die in the game, um, the, the nerve gear being not able to let you leave the game also kind of fries your brain because it doesn't know how to respond to the number of requests sent for you to exit out. So... The only way to leave the game is by the mandatory exit screen at the end credits of the game, which means you have to complete the entire MMORPG. Wilson, is this is this part of the game, Wilson? Um, Do you remember reading about this? Uh, I heard that they were having issues getting beta testers, but from what I heard, the most of the reviews were really good. People were able to log in and out before. I pull up my logout screen. Or like the menu. You go through the menu and you are unable to see a logout menu. And you hear as the crowd starts to erupt. Some people are laughing hysterically, thinking it's all just one giant joke. Uh, j- ladies, uh, j- gentlemen, um, I-, I don't know if you, you heard me. Um, uh, uh, has anyone seen scanners? Scanners, anyone? No? Okay. If you die, this happens. And you just see a picture of a man sitting in a chair. And then all of a sudden you hear a high pitch ringing and then his head explodes. Yeah, that's called microwave radiation when it goes to the human skull. Um, anyways, uh, on a side note, uh, in order to encourage people to actually play the game, um, I, I do have a little bit of a competition going on. Whoever wins the game will own the game. Um, and I have all rights to um, this title and the company. So uh, hopefully that's some incentive for you guys to continue on and uh, have fun, ladies and gentlemen. Let Sword Art Online begin! Yay! And you hear trumpets going and confetti. Oh, how do I turn this off? Um, I think the, this button? No, no. Uh, g- give me a minute. Uh, anyways, I hope you all enjoy. Oh, there it is. Shh. And the entire Colosseum erupts in hysteria. Screaming, shouting, people trampling. The doors did finally open, and you see a stampede of people flooding out into the streets. Some people still confused or kind of loitering around, wondering if there's a way. Then they're just mis- missing the option in their menu bar where you should still be able to exit. Especially a lot of people who seem to be a beta testers are trying to assist people in finding it and locating themselves because they'd already played through the game, but the interface is different, and it is indeed missing the logout button. Snow kind of make jokes a little bit. She's like, well, at least I don't have to take that nursing exam tomorrow. Or any exams in the future for a while. All right. Or, you know, like, worry about living. It's fine. Who's ever beaten an MMORPG? You know, Wilson, this is the time to stay positive. I, uh, I don't know about that, man. And he just flops down and sits back down on the bench. So Wilson is kind of um, sat huddled in a corner, sitting on this stone slab once again, contemplating life and um, its apparently short existence. Uh, I, I've never played an MMORPG before. I don't even know how these work. I just, I heard there were some cool implementations with nature and exploring and map making. Snow kind of looks around and watches the crowd as they run by, I guess. Uh, Tons of people are scattered everywhere. Um, This thing was packed, uh, barely enough room for you to move two feet without seeing someone else. It is almost vacant with only a few parties remaining. Everyone has frantically ran out of the building. Snow walks over to Wilson and looks down at him and she kind of does like a little bit of a squat, like a kneel down, or not kneel down, she leans down, she reaches her hand out and says, Wilson, come on. What? Come on. Where where, where are we going? I mean, like, what, what do we even do in this game? He gave no instructions, no objective. He said, hey, have fun, beat the game. We can't just sit here. <sighs> I mean, I know, but I don't need to. All right, let's... Hold let's... on, I'm going to make this a really laddered moment. Do you trust me? That was a great movie. Thank you for referencing it. It made me feel slightly better, but it's, yeah. All right, let's just try and stick together. It, maybe we can catch up with your 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 friend, um, and when we do, he can maybe help us out and get through this. Uh, with three people, it, it shouldn't be that hard, right? She kind of looks at him. I, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna be helping. 
What? Well, at all? He? That, that sounds like a bad friend. Snow's eyes start to water again. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult him again. No, it's no, just, no, just... no. Rip the bandit off. Go ahead. I, I need to hear this. Say it again. That, Say it louder. That person is a bad friend. Bad. Very bad. Thank you, Wilson. Bad. She kind of wipes the tears away. Bad friend. Yeah. All right. Come on. We we, we need to go. If we don't... Um, no, where, where should we go? Well, we need weapons. Yeah. I, I mean, so, we, we started with this voucher uh, for the general store. It it has a map on the back. There seem to be four locations. Okay. Well, let's get to the... Uh, Snow looks at the mini HUD and kind of looks down. I'm not good at maneuvering places very quickly. Uh, oh, I mean, well, the closest general store for us is to the north. Okay. Uh, the the whole area seems to be kind of like a circular town with um almost identical quarters. Uh, but the the northern way seems like it has a close general store. As long as we're not going through a maze, I'll be good. But um, just in case, why don't, why don't you uh, lead the way, Wilson? Sure. Uh, yeah. And he he walks ahead and he starts to exit through the archways, and you do you make yourself into what seems to be a beautiful city, and normally would be very quaint, except. The streets are a literal riot right now. People are just plowing through individuals, shoving people over, taking their things. Shops are literally being looted. Uh, this quaint little cobblestone um, masonry and woodwork vibe that you're getting from all these like two-story Tudor houses um, with nice awnings and this large main street which you're going down. It would normally be really beautiful, but is just in complete and utter chaos due to the events that have just happened. Man, you know, this is kind of like a fire drill. You know, they say stay calm when there's an actual fire. This is this is kind of like the real thing. No one ever stays calm. Nobody during stays a fire. calm. Well, Wilson, you're staying pretty calm. I'm I'm impressed. I'm internalizing my feelings. Snow kind of takes his hand really quick and says, "It's okay. We're together. We'll be fine." We'll make it through this. I feel like you're internalizing them too. Let's go to the general store. It's up to the right. And he just starts walking. All right. He's still holding your hand. Snow kind of lets it happen for now because she's also in a, like a very emotionally panicked state and this is comforting and she okay. will accept this. Okay. Oh, uh, amazing. <laughs> so you make your way up to the general store. Place is packed. Like, literally, like, there is not an inch to breathe. If you move, and tr you could, you'd have to shove your way through the crowds. It's like a Walmart on Black Friday. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Half of the items in the store seem to already have been taken. All right. I'm looking around for a, a short sword and, and maybe a short bow and a dagger. Am I able to get any of this? Um, A lot of the short swords... Uh, most of the daggers have already been taken because they're really common and easily uh, accessible and uh, a lot of classes are proficient with them. So a lot of the daggers have been taken. You do see a short sword. Um, there seem to be a bunch of them, but they're really low quality ones are the only ones that are left. They're kind of on like the bottom rack. And you do see a few bows up top. Okay. I'm um, on an upper shelf. So I let go of Wilson's hands. I'm like, Wilson, go go get your stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll good see luck. Get. Thanks. Uh I'll see you soon. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Sure. Wilson. Oh, yeah. What? Before you uh, go. What? I send him a friend request. Oh, oh, oh maybe this will help us uh, find each other if we get split up again. Okay, sure. Well, that's accepts. just the friend request. And then I send him the party request. That'll, I think that'll keep us together. Oh, uh, okay. And he accepts it as well. I think, uh, see, I see you on my, on my HUD, on my little mini map. Oh, okay, great. All right. So, um, be best of luck. See you soon. I'll, I'll meet you outside. Sure. Okay. All right, so I'm fighting through the crowds. You are, like, literally trying to elbow people out of your way, pushing your way through. It's a very small building, square in design. There's one counter uh, up to your left You after you walk through the front door, uh, and everything's just kind of set on shelves on the outer walls, and everyone seems to be fighting. Uh, a lot of people are stuck in the middle trying to get their way to the outskirts where all the weapons are. Okay, so I'm on the outskirts, and I'm grabbing... I grab the short sword, I grab a dagger, and then... I'm going to reach for the bow. Okay, so this bow is like <laughs> seven feet up. I hop. And and there's I just can't this jump very high, so five foot six little elf girl jumping. Eh, eh, eh. This is you right now. I'm just does, letting Does you anyone know. have a step stool? 
No anyone? one is listening to you, everyone. <sighs> and you do see some taller individuals are grabbing all the bows on the upper shelves. Uh, excuse um, and me? And some of the bows and quivers are just disappearing and vanishing until there's very few left. Oh, oh no. Uh, excuse me? It's, uh, uh, this sir? And then there's only one left on the shelf, and you see a rather large individual take it off. Just see her eyes start watering like, oh no. I'm going to have to get really close in combat. Oh, hey there. Um, uh, I think you were trying to reach for this. <gasps> thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, my goodness. And the individual who reached for the last bow was a really tall, like six foot two muscular black man. Thank you. Oh, um, hi. My name is Snow. It's nice to meet you. Oh, well, uh, we barely met, but uh, well, greetings. Uh, my name's Tiffany. Eh, oh, I reach well, there, for there his giant hands. Reach your shake. There you go. You got really tiny hands. No wonder you have any issues reaching that boat. Well, I'm glad I could help. My ring size is a four and a half, so... Uh, anyway, that wasn't important. I'm just letting the audience know, yes. That's wonderful. I mean, who knows? Uh, don't worry. Uh, eventually, one of these days, we won't even need these general stores. We'll have master craftsmen out there, and they'll be working on all these weapons for us. Yeah, hopefully. Um, hey, I, I don't know. Um, maybe we could hang, hang out or meet up later if, you, if you're not really part of a big party. But thank you so much. If there's anything I can do for you, just just let me know. And she sends him a friend request. Actually, this would be great. I, I actually have something in mind. Um, it, it might help you out, too, because I noticed that while you do have that bow, you are still missing all the arrows. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how good a bow is without arrows. And I'm actually, my, my class archetype is specialized in item creation. So maybe we could help out. We can, you can meet up with the rest of our party later today and I can make you some weaponry. Oh yeah, no, that'd be great. I, I actually have somebody with me in the party, uh, just one other person, but we could definitely use a little bit of a larger party. That would be awesome. We'd then have a great party of five. I'll see you later today over by the North Exit. North Exit. Okay. And the large black man literally just, like, swims through the crowds because most people are smaller than him, and he just kind of, like, shoves people out of the way. That was a really nice guy. Did he accept my friend request? He did. Okay. Would you look at that? Okay, so I go up to the counter, and I'm like, excuse me? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, here. What? Yep, thank you. Uh, get out of my way. Oh. And he just kind of, he grabs your voucher as he is literally grabbing three other people's vouchers at the same time, and he shoves you off. Okay, I guess I make my way out, and I try and sneak a few arrows while I'm at it. Perception check. I'm going to perception check for some arrows. Ooh, that's better than a than a uh, one. It's a. <laughs> I would hope it's better than a one. Are you ready for this? Yeah. A twenty-three. Ooh. Better than a one. Ooh, that is a lot better. You definitely do. You see some arrows. All of them are in people's quivers and or bags, though. So, I see the problem here, and Snow is neutral. She does not see a problem with maybe trying to sneak an arrow out of somebody's back. Maybe. Roll sleight of hand. If I'm you gonna like roll to sleight of hand. I crit failed. <laughs> oh, no, sure. <laughs> so you see in front of you, you, there's someone who seems distracted. They're talking with two other individuals. It's someone in a black cloak. And he has a quiver of arrows by his side. And as soon as you touch it, this man stands straight up and rich. And he says, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I, e excuse you, ma'am. I tripped. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, no, uh, please. Like, <laughs> boundaries, all right? Like, I understand this is a crowded place, but could you pl please move on? Sorry. He seems really jumpy and on edge. And all of his three friends, uh, well, two friends, so it's three of them in total, are kind of all murmuring in the corner. Okay, you guys all, you you keep on murmuring. I'm just going yeah, to move on. Yeah, and you on. keep on walking. Okay. Nice to meet you. Not likely. I'll suck on and a bread to you as well. <laughs> all right, so you make she your mutters. way outside. What? <laughs> she mutters under her breath. <laughs> it, was the it was essentially her cursing at him, but she's like, I'm going to filter this. Okay, so you make your way outside and you see Wilson. Uh, hey, Wilson, you get, you get your stuff? Yeah, I got a nice armor, a good bag, um, a glaive. I didn't get armor. Crap. <laughs> and he took my voucher. Okay, you know what? That's not true. I have armor. What? 
Yeah, I told you. You loaded into the game with all your clothes. So you just got extra armor there. Well, I got improved armor. Oh, um, Wilson, we're supposed to meet um this guy named Tiffany at the South Gate. Wait, say that again? At the South Gate, a guy named Tiffany? No, I'm still stuck on the man named Tiffany issue. Or was it the North Gate? Oh, no. Uh, well, there are two of us. We could split up. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, wait, which one do you think it is? The North Gate or the South Gate? With no sense of direction and difficulty of paying attention to all details all at once. All above a 10. I rolled a 12. There you go. Oh, wait, no, no. It, it was the North Gate. It was the North Gate. I, I'm confident that it was the North Gate. And I don't if know. not. You said the South Gate first. Normally, people's instincts are right. Today is not a good day for me. Okay? It's, it's been rough, Wilson. Just just trust me. My secondary instinct was much better this time. <laughs> All right. I trust you, Snow. So where, where should we head off to now? Well, we're supposed to meet them. It was a party. Uh, oh, and he he's a really big guy. He's, he's a lot bigger than you and me. And um, Oh, anyway, that doesn't matter. We're supposed to meet him or this evening. I think he said five. Maybe five. Five. We'll go with five. We'll probably be late, because I'm always fashionably late. Fashionable. Okay, great. Uh, well, I mean, what do we do until then? It's kind of only like one. Well, you know what would go really well with this group of us that we have together? Pie? Animals. What class are you, by the way? Oh, um, I'm a, I'm a cavalier. A cavalier, okay. Where's your mount? Well, I have a voucher for it. I gotta, I gotta go get it. Oh, well, I'm going to go get your mount. Sure. Um, we can run by a stable. Um, I'm pretty sure this is redeemable in any stable, and there's one by the north gate. Okay. But it, did you want a mount, too? Is that what the animals you were talking about? Maybe. I don't know. I'll consider it. I'm thinking about it as we walk. Okay. I mean, th there's a pet store here. Okay, listen, man. That is really tempting. Yeah? I mean, we've got time to kill. Fine, we'll go to the pet store. Leave me alone. What, what? I, I can leave you, but I no, thought don't, we were going to... No, no, no. Also, you don't know how to get to the pet store, and it's just... This. It's this way, and she starts to walk in the opposite direction without she realizing it. She grabs your hand and says, no, 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 no. It's up there to the left. And he points, and it says, pet shop. I, I knew that. She tries to play it off. I knew that, see? I was just testing you. <laughs> I think you're lost, Snow. Yeah, we better stick close together. Okay. Uh, we're not going to be splitting up. <sighs> and he starts to walk off with you. Okay. To the pet shop. I was about to say, he just walks off. No. All right, let's go. And you see, as you get closer, it does. There's a nice, like, intricate sign that says pet shop, and it has a little red squeaky ball on the front sign. Mm, pet shop A. I go into the pet shop A. Okay, you enter. And you see um, a large, rotund man with... Um, Red rosy cheeks and a white handlebar mustache. Ha, 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 ha. Welcome to the pet shop. I Please, this is was... there anything I can help you with? I thought this was KFC for a second. Well, I mean, you can buy a chicken if you like, but I wouldn't recommend you cook it. If you hit the chicken enough times, does a swarm of chickens appear and attack the person that hit the chicken? Ma'am, I think you might be overthinking things. If you hit a chicken, it dies. That's not true. I once had to beat a rooster because it was chasing me, trying to spur my eyes out. Okay, so maybe we won't sell you a chicken then. Is there anything else you'd be interested in? Um, you, you got... You, you got, got a turtle? A... <laughs> <laughs> and he holds a red-eared slider, which he seemed to pull out of literally nowhere. And it's just this little turtle. He's holding it by the shell and its little legs are moving and its head sticks out of its shell. And it looks at you in the eyes. Do, do you sell animal companions? That's what the turtle is. I mean, did the turtle just talk? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's me. What? Oh. Well, the turtle didn't talk, I, though he does have that look in his eyes of intelligence. They can live to be a hundred years old, you know? Well, it was kind of like ventriloquism. I thought it was coming from the turtle. Um, I mean, like, do you have something that could help in a fight? Turtles are great. We can throw them at objects. Um, sir, I do not. Do sir. <laughs> they can do bludgeoning sir, damage. Sir, I do not want the turtle. That's what everyone said. It's all right. It's all right, Squirtle. You can go back into your Wilson, ball. Wilson, did you want the turtle? I mean, it's kind of cute. 
but... Wilson, shh. <laughs> You're not helping now. See? Look. Oh, look at this great turtle. And he's just going on to Wilson trying to sell this turtle to him. <laughs> and he is completely distracted. You are free to look around the store. All right. I'm, I'm going to look around the store. That is a 14. Okay. You see all kinds of animals. Um, I would expect from... so since it's a pet shop. But, like, animals you wouldn't normally see in a pet shop. Like, normally your pet shop, sure, it has, like, some fish and some hamsters and lizards and everything. And you see those, but there's also a strange array of things that you wouldn't normally see. Things like a pig. Um, a lot of There are a lot of dogs and cats and snakes. Um, and then just some other weird, strange oddities, um, like spiders and uh, other weird creatures just all around in different... Um, appropriately sized containers. Is there like a dog, a wolf, fox, something? That... Oh, there are all of the above. Everything you listed. Anything you can think of. Just about any animal. Except like lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Ooh. Is, is there like a white husky or a white wolf? Roll a perception check. I roll my perception. And that is a nat 19, baby. Nah. Anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> it's a 24. So you see in a fenced-in area, there are a bunch of little tiny doggos, but they seem slightly bigger than dogs. And as you get close, you see that they're actually wolf pups. Uh, and as you get closer, you notice that all most of them are like black and kind of like gray and mixed colors. But in the center of the, the fenced-in area, while all the other pups are kind of like scurrying over to the fence to greet you, there's one sitting in the middle, regally staring off to the side, and he has a pure white coat. He has chosen me. <laughs> <laughs> he has chosen All me. All of these other pups are, are barking and howling and jumping up for your attention. He has chosen me. That one. I want that one. And the man with the turtle says, oh, what a wonderful, wonderful decision. So I see you would, you'd want that one. He's still a little, little young. He's uh, grow, growing into his size, though. He's uh, medium aged, uh, not fully reached adulthood yet, but it's a wonderful male. He's perfect. I'll take him. All right. Uh, just sign out this paperwork and that'll be a thousand gold. I slam the gold on the table without a second thought. And for such a great purchase, I'll even throw in this turtle. No, keep keep the turtle. Keep keep the, keep the he's turtle. Just slow, he's just slowly inching it closer. How about to how you. about for this great price? Why don't you throw in some um feed? And oh, snow. I'm sorry. We don't sell food here. What? We sell toys. Here, I'll throw in a red squeaky ball. I take the squeaky ball. Very well. This ball is now his, and his name shall be Nachia, the king. And as you say that. He stares right at you and your eyes lock. We were meant for each other. He has this stoic, serious look in his eyes, even though he barely stands at two feet tall. God dang, he's small, but he's perfect. He's still not a full-grown wolf yet. Amazing. He is now mine, and I am his. All right, so... We shall exchange vows. <laughs> <laughs> so you finish signing the paperwork, and as soon as the transaction is complete, you see pop up in your menu bar directly under your name and Wilson's name, you just see a blank space which says Wolf. Change name. You click on it and an edit button appears. Nachia. Hey. Come on. The king. And immediately a collar forms around him and a leash is in your hand. And he looks at you. Ooh. Here, boy. Come here. Come here. He kind of looks you up and down and then saunters over at his own pace. Not coming eagerly but coming at his own time. Wilson, he's perfect. I know. Uh, I'm glad you found what you want. I bought seven turtles. Wilson, no! No! Wilson, no, you can't have what? seven turtles. But they stack. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a pile of turtles in his left hand. Wilson, what are you going to do with them? Eat them? What? No! These are my pets! Wilson. Yeah? Give, give the man back his turtles. This is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> but he talked them up so great. I mean, they, can, they they hide in their shells and they can be used as bludgeoning weapons and they can swim and they give you bonuses to your AC, apparently. Oh, crap. And... I don't know what Nichia's first ability was. I think it was stay or was it sit or was it attack? I think it was fetch. 
fetch. It was fetch because you wanted to learn attack, but you didn't feel like waiting for him to learn attack, and you wanted him to go and get weapons for you. Nichia, fetch the turtle. His eyes turn. The golden, the, the brilliant blue sheen. He starts to drool a little. And then he lunges over at Wilson and starts chasing him around the pet shop as Wilson just jo- like sprints around, throw it, literally turning and throwing turtles at the wolf, but missing. Wilson, I think you've killed the turtles. They all just poke their heads out and roll over and walk away. Wilson, I think you've lost your turtles. Oh, 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 that's okay. I didn't buy him yet. I was kind of just testing him out. He said they were really fun. He's, were, he wasn't wrong. You were testing them? What were you going to do with them? What do you mean? Keep them as pets. And do what? Ride it? If they got big enough. Wilson, Snow kind of looks him up and down. I might be able to ride them one day. You might crush their shells. And that's a compliment. I'm not that big. It's a compliment. Thanks. I appreciate that. Anyways, uh, yeah, you're right. The, the turtles weren't really my pace. They were kind of slow. I don't think they'd be too good in a forest. Apparently they need water. Wilson, everything needs water. <laughs> You and I need water, Wilson. <laughs> God damn. This you know what, getting... Snow? You're right. Let's go get some water. Well, oh, okay. Well, I mean, do you have any water? I look at my inventory. Do you have any food or anything? As soon as we walk out of the shop. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I do not regret the fact that I so, yeah, by the spent way, how, all my money. Did... <laughs> Wilson? Yeah? It was a really bad idea to take me to a pet store. And the contract said, no exchanges, substitutions, or refunds. I hope you and your lo- wolf live long and happy lives. We will. I'm sure he'll serve you well and be immensely impactful. <laughs> oh, my God. He will, Wilson. You'll see. He is the king. Isn't that right, Nachia? <laughs> Belly scratches. <laughs> and I pick him up and I say, look at him, Wilson. Look at him. And I shove him in Wilson's face. Love him. Good boy. Snow smiles really awkwardly. All right, let's go. And she starts to walk in a direction. No, no, that's that's towards the east gate. She turns around and starts walking the other direction. No, the opposite direction of east is west. Snow turns the other way in a direction and continues to walk and hopes she gets her That's a back alley. It looks really shady. Okay, you know what, Wilson? You're shady. All right, well, how about this? And he just puts his hand on the middle of your back and he starts to kind of push you along as he walks. And, and I am carrying Nachia. You're not letting your dog walk. I'm petting him as I carry him. He kind of like slumps over, like he was struggling for a little bit, but then he kind of just slumps over on your shoulder, just accepting that this is his lot in life. Did you know, Wilson, that when you see something cute, your first instinct is to kill it because you don't know what to do with it? That's why you get the urge to hug things really tight. Snow, I'm concerned about your mental state. Has anyone ever suggested you see a therapist? No. No, no one ever has. Okay. I was just wondering. It was more like a quick pro quo, like question kind of thing. I don't know if that's what that was. I, yeah. feel, I feel a little insulted. No, we're good. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Let's get and some water. And he makes his way over <laughs> to the stables. Is this where we get water, Wilson? I'm pretty sure this is for your no, horse. No, this is, where, this is where I get my horse. And once I get a horse, I can move around. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You could get a camel. I'm just saying. That is also Welcome, a welcome, welcome. And you see this like really scrawny man with a like a scruffy black beard and he's in a really sleazy suit that's really tattered up. What can I do for you fine folks today? Wilson. Oh, um yeah, uh, I I was looking I have a voucher for a mount. Oh, doesn't everyone nowadays. Fine. Go pick out what you want. Do you do you need help, Wilson? Uh, well, I mean, you were suggesting a camel, and I... I, I okay, that was a joke. I wasn't being serious. There, there's um, camels and elephants. Okay. Apparently, there's a riding bear. Okay, no, Wilson, get a Could, horse. Should I get a bear? No, Wilson, get a horse. The bears are pretty cool. Wilson, you're pretty cool. Now get a horse. Oh, thanks. Okay, fine. Um, And he just walks over in, further into the stables, and he's looking around, and all of a sudden, you hear the store owner scream. Top of his lungs. Ah! Whoa, 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 back away! Get, 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 get. shoo! Whoa, whoa! I, I was just, I was just looking at it. It was just, just a, no, no, that thing will kill you. Uh, no, but I mean, he seems really nice. Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Is, is this the one you want? 
Yeah. And take him. And, He's yours. And you walk around and you go further into the stables as well and you turn the corner and you see this gigantic, massive black stallion. He's got little um, white tufts at the bottom of him, but other than that, he's pure black with one little mark on his um, schnout. So he's not pure black. <laughs> not everything's black and white snow. Well, actually, he is. He's got white on his that, this, this socks. Is. I said not everything is, but this one is. It is black and white. Oh. But he is confined in a completely separate fenced in area with much more space than all the other horses. And he ha has uh, a giant post in the middle, which he is tied to by a rope. All the other horses are very promptly put in stables, some um, in small groups, others just in stables, calmly waiting. But this one is outside on a post. Wilson. Yeah. They say that we don't pick our companions. They pick us. He uh, has chosen you. I mean, from what it seems, Nichia is kind of like looking off in an opposite direction of you. All right. Shh. He chose me. Okay. Uh, I mean. I put Nichia down. He chose me. Ooh. He sits right at your feet. See? And then he turns away from you. I've been chosen. I've been graced by his presence. So that's what choosing something looks like. All right. Let, let me try. Wilson rolls up his sleeves. And the store keep very anxiously is waiting. He's like, fine, your funeral. If this thing kills you, I'm not paying for your medical expenses. Wilson walks into the fenced in area. The horse galloping around, tugging at its rope that has tied it, it down to the post, slowly just pacing awkwardly, locks eye contact with Wilson, and rears on its back feet. <laughs> Wilson doesn't even flinch. I, I, I grew up working a little bit up, up on a farm, so I, I kind of I know how to do it. He just Holds his hand out. Eventually, the horse calms down, walks over to him, just licks his hand, and Wilson starts petting him. That, oh, I touched him. Who was, who was your friend? Huh? Who's your friend? The destroyer. It's ironic because that horse has killed three people. <laughs> well, the last one that came in here had cluffed him in the eye, and he's blind now. Well, Wilson has broken the horse's spirit. Therefore, he is the destroyer. Ah, give me your stupid voucher and get out of my shop. I thought that was cool. Wilson does, though. Mount up on the horse, is on a giant saddle, and offers you a hand to get on. Um. The horse glares daggers into your eyes. It says, don't you dare. Just with a glare. It just sends this vibrant message of, if you get on me, you will die. I look at the horse. Yeah. And then Wilson strokes its mane and looks away from you. Like, yeah, it's all right, Angus. Um, I, I think... Isn't Angus a great name? I think it's a great horse. Look at this. And he strokes his mane and hugs him around the neck. Oh, you're such a lovable lug, aren't you, Angus? Come on, Snow. What are you waiting for? Get on. Um. And he offers you a hand. Yeah. Uh, I look at Angus. Angus looks at you. And I say, may I? Yeah, sure, you can get on. No, no, and, Wilson. And Angus looks at you, <laughs> glaring into your soul. You feel intimidated. Uh, no, Wilson, I think, I think I'm good. No, no, I'm, no, you're fine. I'm, Come I'm, on, I'm, Come I'm, on, I'm, no, I'm, no, 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 no. He just grabs good, your hand and he starts to heave you up on the horse. Ah! I am heaved. Angus kind of turns his head and just looks at you. Don't bite me, please. And then Wilson just strokes his mane. And he's still glaring at you, but then slowly turns away. I've never been so disliked by a horse before. Interesting. Um, where, where am I in front of Wilson or behind him? And the horse just rears and bolts off. Ah, um, wait. Ah, okay, no, hold on tight. You're, you are sitting behind him. Oh, well, there we go. I will hold on. You just hold on to his waist for dear life? Because this horse is bolting it through the streets now. Wilson, do you have control of your horse? No, I have the reins, but it's not listening. We can't cast spells, Conk. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I, I'm going to try an acrobatics off the horse, I guess. jump off the horse? Wilson yeah. is currently doing a handle animal trick to see if he can calm it. Okay. He can. I will acrobatics off. The horse does not want me there today. <laughs> okay. Jump off. Crit fail. Okay, so you I... Uh... Try and roll <laughs> off this horse, and as you do, it is while this horse is in mid-gallop. Mm. And it clubs you in the forehead with its hoof. 
I would say something, but I don't think I'd have the ability to. No. I think I'm out. And you fall flat like a sack of potatoes <laughs> on the ground. Oof. Those are, that's all I hear. Oof. <clears throat> Not sure. I will just eat this dirt for a little while. I'm not going to get up. Ow. Uh, roll a d4. Ow. Oh, I don't no, have you... three damage. <laughs> you took a lot more than a d4 damage. Don't worry. That was um, a three. Yeah. So you wake up three hours later. Oh, mm, meat. <laughs> you do. You smell meat cooking. Very good meat, by the way. Some of the best cooking you've ever smelled. Mm -hmm. You wake up. You're lying on a sleeping bag on the ground in grass, in a nice green area, with the scent of a fire and smoking meat cooking. How do I feel? Terrible. Like the worst headache you have ever had in a, your life. Like if you have ever experienced a hangover, three times worse than that. Your head is throbbing and you do. You feel like you have an indentation, which is going to be permanently enlarged in your forehead. <gasps> It'll go away in a couple of days. No, no forehead marks, please. You got a beauty mark. You're fine. No, it's not a beauty mark. <laughs> Also, why would be it wouldn't be an indentation to be swelling, probably. Yeah, no, your head's swollen. There's a really bad lump. Mm, okay. Number one, probably have a concussion. Yeah, probably. I roll over on my side and I vomit. <laughs> that exact sound comes <laughs> out of my mouth, I assume. I don't know what I vomited on, but I'm sorry. Oh, oh my. Oh, no. She, she, hey, hey, hey. She's awake, everybody. And Tiffany runs over. Oh, oh, hi, it's no. Uh, okay, I'm so glad you're you're awake. Your horse is such a good boy. Isn't he great? Yeah. I'm so sorry that this happened to you though. Um here, here have have some food. Sit up. Have have a glass of water. Um I probably shouldn't eat anything. See, I probably shouldn't have been lying down. You probably should have woke me up as soon as possible. I think I could have a concussion. We, we, I don't we, know if I'll be awake. We tried to wake you up. Uh, you you just wouldn't come to. You were unconscious. Feel my forehead's probably sticking out. Oh, this is lovely. Hey, pretty lady's awake. Here you go. Don't worry. And someone kneels down beside you. <laughs> a scraggly man with red hair. <laughs> he puts his hand on your hand. He says, the doctor's in the house. There's nothing to fear now. And he puts an ice pack on your head. Hold on. I take the ice pack off. Hold on. You need to wrap this in something completely separate. So I kind of like... Well, 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 oh, oh, sure. Uh, and he pulls a, a rag out of his back pocket and he wraps it in that and puts it on. Thanks. I, c I can hold it. Y can you let go of my hand now? I, got, I gotta make sure that you your pulse is still good, that your heart rate isn't irregular. I take my hand and I grab his... I flip over his wrist and I say, this is how you take a pulse. It's basically what I was doing. I'm, I'm, I'm a student nurse. There, take that back. I, I don't want. I, who are you? I'm Clyde. Nice to meet you. Hi, Clyde. Nice to meet you as well. I suppose. Oh, Tiffany. Hey. Hey. All right. So you, Wilson, uh, after you had your little incident, brought you up here because he said you were going to meet, and he didn't really know what to do with you. So we kind of just tried to wake you up, couldn't do anything, so laid you down, and Clyde here made dinner. Hmm. Thanks, Wilson. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm awake now. I feel terrible, but let's let, let's get this party started. I vomit again. <laughs> carrots. Why is it always carrots? I haven't even eaten anything. You should probably eat some really basic foods. Here you go. I, I cut up your steak nice and small. You've got some mashed potatoes, some nice green beans, and the most important part's on the side. I look, what is on the side? There's a bread roll with a sheet of paper under it. I'm liking this man more. There's bread. I grab the bread. And underneath it, you see there's a little slip. It says, call me. And it has this player number under it. I pick up the note. The most important was on the side, wasn't it? And I eat the bread. And then I wipe my face off with the note. <laughs> Dang, thought it was work. So smooth. Clyde, you try too hard. We've been telling you this the whole time. Listen, if you want to talk to me, just talk to me. Also, ha ha calling people? How do, do, Can we even do that? I'm sure you probably could. I got like three people. You can no. definitely message me at the very least, right? Here, uh, look. And he sends you a friend request. I hesitate. You know you want to do it. And I accept. Yeah, you did it. I knew I was getting to you. It's the bread, wasn't it? I'm a bluff. Go for it. No. It's a seven. And I don't think I have anything in bluff, but... 
<laughs> he comes up to you and he puts his finger on it's your a lips. Ten total. Listen to me. I know a bredophile when I see one. I too am a cook, a kind of sword of foods. I know it when someone's eyes light up when they see an object on their plate, and I know exactly what object <laughs> when it they is. They see an object on their plate. I was about to say. And how is Wilson feeling with this? It's weird. Uh. So, Snow, you haven't met everyone yet. Um, there's still that lady over there sitting on a log. Yeah, lady, introduce yourself. My vision is probably so blurry. I'm like, oh, I thought that was a hallucination this whole time. I was ignoring it. No, I'm not a hallucination. My name's Celia. Hi, Celia. I'm Snow. Nice to meet you. Sorry and about your vomiting. It was kind of... and. It was kind of repulsive, honestly, so I didn't feel like it was my place. You're already being swarmed around by a bunch of men anyways. I figured you'd be fine. I'm go- going to be honest here. I also vomit when I'm really stressed, so this is probably not going to be the first time. We're going to get very familiar with each other. Hopefully not too familiar. Yeah, no, my I first... I like to keep my space. And she blows a smoke circle in your face. You know, my first day of clinicals, I vomited on the patient's bed. Yep, we're already getting too close. <laughs> If you need anything, I'll be reading my books over there. Books? You got books? Also, we're Nachia. And you roll over and you see Nachia's promptly plopped right by your side. <gasps> what a good cool boy. And I scratch behind the ears. And, and you did. see his leg starts kicking. Oh my gosh, I've never had a dog cuddle with me. Wolf. Wolf, excuse me. Oh. Oh. And Snow uh, promptly sits back up. All right. So what's the plan? I know you said you wanted us to do something or whatnot. Oh, well, uh, really, I was just wondering if you'd be interested in my services because I'm, I, I, I took the craft arms and armor skills so, uh, you know, I could make weaponry. I thought you were about to tell me you were a prostitute, but I'm glad we cleared that up immediately. Uh, that would be immensely awkward. I'm sure Clyde would probably think about taking that line of work, but he probably wouldn't be too successful. Wasn't there, like, a geisha option? Wait, that was an option? I could have made tea? And I kind of look at him and say, what What class are you? Well, oh, um, I'm a ranger. You are? I'm a samurai. <laughs> Clyde, do you not know what class you are? It's all really foggy. All I know is that I'm a samurai, but I use the bow. Because you have to pick a specific line, which you've got to be proficient in. And I was kind of throwing it up in the air. And I'm like, I could use bows. Then I could be a ranger. Or I could be an Asian ranger. So I decided to go with samurai. I kind of look him up and down. You, you don't you don't look that Asian. You just... That's because I don't have the armor yet. I know. It sucks. Yeah. But I got a free horse. So did Wilson. And there's Angus over there. <laughs> hey, Angus. He glares at you and glares at everyone else. We're going to have a conversation later, Angus. <laughs> you and me. I'm getting My character's getting a little bit more loopy because her head is calling her and she's like, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be awake right now. Okay, so Tiffany, services. Goods, actually, more so than services. But I do. I uh, can craft weapons for you. I know you said you needed some bows. Well, uh, I got no, a- no arrows. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be ideal. Since I wasn't able to get any, they were all bought out. Did any Oh, did anyone get any health potions? Do we do we have a do we have a healer? Do we have anybody? Uh, well, I took fighter, so I'm not going to be healing anybody. <gasps> me too. I'm a healer. I, just I mean, a- I'm a fighter. <laughs> Help me. Well, we tried to, uh, but yeah, so, so I'm a fighter, you're a fighter. Uh, Wilson said he was a cavalier. Clyde's a useless samurai, and uh, that, that's less of a jab of being a samurai and more of a jab of Clyde being useless. Hey, I take offense to that truth, but I still take offense to that. Did you guys, like, work together? Like, do you know each other from outside of this? Oh, well, uh, me, me and Celia do. We actually go to college together. Uh, but uh, Clyde, no. We found him roaming around the plains, and he almost got eaten alive by a shark hyena. A what? Shark hyena. I look at Wilson. I don't know what this is. You think I've heard of a shark hyena? Is it like the head of a shark, legs of a hyena walking around? You be, you've been awake, so maybe they told you. I don't, I don't know. know. Okay. So Those yeah. little demons, they just jump out of nowhere. All you can see is their black little fin as they crawl around the plains, and then you get gnawed in half. 
Wait, so if you see their fin, why don't you just go the other way? They run fast. And you run slow? I outran a chicken. Me too, but I had to beat the chicken. I almost killed it. So did I. Interesting. We're bonding more. I'm okay with this. We can bond anytime. Yeah. Also, didn't you say you needed arrows? Yeah. I have like... Like an angel coming from the heavens. And he just starts to slowly walk, like striding over to you. And he has six arrows in his hand. Take them. Wilson, can you hand those to me? Um, Wilson, sure. hand and those w- to me? <laughs> Wilson starts grabbing. He's like, no, they're for snow. Snow, take them. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Chia, fetch <laughs> the arrows. And Nichia jumps up and grabs one and Clyde tries to pull away, but Nichia has it firmly sat in his mouth and he breaks one. Mm, I'll take that. Thanks, Nichia. Good boy. Now you got a stick. <laughs> Clyde, I do declare you are the most useful sod I've ever seen. Oh, yes, by the way, to answer your question, so no, we don't have a healer in our party. And no, we don't have any health potions other than the one that came in the adventurer's kit. Wait, you got one in the adventurer's kit? Yes, didn't you pick up yours? I look back and forth between every single one of them. Who all have bags slung over their backs. Even Wilson? Even Wilson. I'm a compulsive buyer. It's a problem. Yeah, she seemed like she was kind of just wandering around the store, going up and down every aisle, randomly picking out whatever she felt like she wanted. Okay, Wilson, I'm not taking you shopping anymore. You don't need to disclose my habits that you've just seen for the first time, which could or could not be habits. I don't know. You like their habits if you're bringing them up so much, but it's okay. Me and you can go shopping anytime. Oh, Clyde. Okay, sure. We'll go shopping. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, is it a date? When do you want to go? Like tomorrow? A date. Yeah, uh, no. How about, how about, no, no, not right now. But another time. I, after I meet up with somebody, I'll consider it. I'm gonna hold you to that. I got it in writing. Do you? Yeah, it's right here. I wrote it down. Date with Snow once she meets up with someone. I look at Wilson. I look at Tiffany. And then I look at Celia. This is why we don't want to keep him around. But we know if we don't, he's gonna die. <laughs> I can understand that. Okay. I look at my health bar. What does it look like? Oh, you got three HP left. Well, sleep didn't cure that. Oh, you got to rest for at least eight hours before you get any hit dice back. Oh, I know. Also, you only get uh, one HP back per night of sleep. Curse you, Pathfinder. <laughs> Curse you, SAO, and your hard for leveling system. On top of that, you though if someone were to roll a heal check on you and give you long-term care, you could heal a whole whopping... Two HP back over while you sleep. Isn't that only if you're bleeding or below zero HP? No, no, no. Heal checks to stabilize are used to make sure if you're bleeding below zero HP. But there's something you provide called long-term care, where if you do it for roughly eight hours at a period, you can heal up to three times your level in those eight hours, where normally you'd only heal one. Is it nighttime right now, or is it like afternoon, evening? Um, It is roughly more so. It's getting dark. Okay. It's closer to nighttime. Let me just go prostitute my body really quick and see if I can get some money. <laughs> um, Snow, I'm kidding. I, I'm kidding. I'm you, kidding. You just I didn't had a concussion. That. I'd pay for those goods and services if you need some coin. Wilson, I wouldn't be paid by you to give you those goods and services. It's Clyde. I know. Oh, Clyde. You said Wilson. Oh, sorry, Wilson. I meant Clyde. My head is kind of ringing. I don't know who's talking to me anymore. And she kind of turns. She's not facing the right way. She says that. She's just gesturing. Um, Snow, maybe you should get some rest after having a meal. No, Tiffany, I don't need rest. Everything's fine. All right, we're putting it down. <laughs> so they do. They wrap you up. They they literally wrap you up. They put you in the sleeping bag. They tie you up and they throw you in a tent. This is mutiny. I don't. This is kind of comfy, though. So I'm not, not sure if Clyde I want to fight this. In. No. And he puts a pillow under your head. Hi, thanks. Sleep hey. well. Um, I don't take naps on command. <laughs> and they just hear me yelling, get me out of here. I don't nap on command. Can't make me do this. And you see the Nich- Nichia comes into your tent and he starts to try and gnaw on the ropes. Nichia, <laughs> fetch my sword. Oh, and he just tilts his head. F- Very fetch confused. The sword. F- fetch the sword. Fetch. <laughs> fetch, boy. <laughs> my sword is clearly not on my person right now. So fetch, boy. And he leaves the tent. Fetch the sod. You're waiting and waiting for a long period of time. I'm going to try and roll. You hear everyone 
laughing jauntily outside by the campfire. I'm rolling as best as I can to get to the tent entrance. <laughs> you s start to slowly inchworm your way over to the tent entrance and you stick your head out and you see Nachia sitting by the fire with everyone and Clyde's feeding him meat. Traitor. I love you too. And he just nods <laughs> his head. What a good boy. And he just continues to eat the meat. I roll back. <laughs> I just roll back into the tent really awkwardly. Wonderful. You rest for the evening? I suppose I'll have to. Probably a good idea. I try to slip. Okay. But I can't move. Not with you. You're immensely uncomfortable. Yeah. You toss and turn a little throughout the night. but Not a little. I toss and turn a lot. Okay. I don't sleep well. Clyde sneaks in in the middle of the night. Are you doing snow? Oh, I hope this doesn't give you any weird vibes or anything. Um, so I, I just figured I uh, overheard that you were low HP. So um, here, have this. This is my health potion. Also, you look really uncomfortable. Cuts you out of the the ropes that oh. Tiffany put you in. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, and she cracks like. You did need to get grab. some rest, but I didn't think Tiffany needed to go that far. Anyways, so yeah, there's the health potion. Um, I hope you sleep well. If you need uh, do breakfast or anything, I'm making waffles. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 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 no, no problem. I'm sorry, I was really loopy earlier. My headache is not as bad. Good, I'm glad. All right. And you're not a visual blur, but thanks. That's good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so I take his health potion. Yep. And, and he starts to walk out of the tent. He says, I've never been in girls' tent before. I drink the health potion. You're back to full HP. And I guess I'm able to sleep better. Yeah, you're, you're able to readjust yourself, get more comfortable. You're not low HP anymore. Okay. The next morning comes. Indeed it does. And I step out of the tent. Good morning, everybody. Everybody? Hello. Oh, hey, hey, Snow. Oh, oh, hi, Snow. How's it going? I'm much better. Thank you. I am completely awake. I am healed. Good. My head no longer hurts. The swelling has gone down to probably about half the size. I am now here. Hey, Snow, take a bottle of arrows. And he literally just throws arrows at you. I will reflex to catch them. Do it. Ooh, that's a 16 roll. And then my reflex is a three. So that is a 19 total. Great. So you caught a dozen arrows in a brief little bundle, which he made, which are tied together by a thin piece of rope. Thanks. Sweet. Now I can actually shoot things. Arrows are actually really easy to make. You just got to cast the little head and put it on a stick, basically. Yeah. I give him to you the head of his, from his arrow <laughs> stick. <laughs> Good boy. He's gnawing on it. Okay. So, um, well, if we stick around in this town, I don't think there's going to be much left over. And no, much left over. There's not anything in here as it is now. Yeah. Um, most of the inventories and stock have been bought out, and apparently the townspeople won't resupply for another week. Not even for, like, what are they, for another week? They are already bought out? Uh, of everything. Who bought everything? The other players? So that's, that's true. Well, There's I mean. There's even a little black market going on. I racist. mean, there are probably plenty of, like, health potions and whatnot. <laughs> oh, you think they're health potions. Yeah, you can buy them for a thousand gold apiece. I can still buy health potions for, for a thousand gold? Yes. Normally, they'd be about five. Okay, so the prostitution idea is not sounding too bad right now. Um, but I wouldn't recommend they're, that. <laughs> there are probably better plans. We heard a rumor that over going into the east, that there's a forest where slimes come from. Those slimes are the primary ingredient to the health potions. So if we could manage to get some of those, we actually would be able to make our own. And if the prices still stay inflated, sell them for quite a pretty penny. Hmm. Well, probably true. All right. Well, we're by the gate. Well, actually, we're up by the north gate, but I guess we could just go from the north gate and head east. I knew that. We're by, yeah, the north gate. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. So we got to go to the east gate and snow starts to walk in a direction. Um, um, snow, that, that's west. This is clearly a test, Wilson. I turned the other way. So no, you didn't turn enough. Now you're just going southeast. I was going to the bathroom, Wilson. How would you know where I was going if I was heading to the bathroom? All right. Well, uh, have fun um, peeing. Yes. That is what people do in the bathroom. And Snow's going to go away for like a little bit and then kind of disappear behind a building and wait. For an appropriate amount of time. <laughs> for an appropriate amount of time. And then go back. Ah, uh, perfect. Do you sweet, feel better now? Sweet relief. Yes. <laughs> uh, so when are we heading out? 
Uh, I, I would say as soon as possible, probably the best idea. Okay, so a sapper. A sapper. Are, are, you, are, you, are you ready? Oh, I mean, we're packing up the rest of the camp. You see Clyde's got Haku over there, Wilson's got Angus, and uh, Celia and I are going to ride Misty. You have a horse? Yeah, we got a horse. Everyone has horses. That's cool. I have Nachia. Oh, well, I mean, I don't really have a horse. We have Misty. Is Misty a horse? And Celia <laughs> waves her hand with a ring on it, and you see the ring start to glow, and before her, out of the ring, summons a Misty-looking horse. Oh, I get it. It was a pun. Her name is Misty. She's made of mist, and she's a horse, and you can ride her. Got it. Yes, that's how that works. Okay, I'm smart. I know I don't seem it right now. I'm still kind of like uh, is it snow. Well, loopy. Dude, let's uh, let let's get on uh, the Angus and let's let's ride. I think I'm gonna not do Angus for a while. Hey, you, that means you can ride on Haku. I look at Haku. Am I being threatened by this horse? No. Very mild mannered. I think I'm horse. gonna ride the mild mannered Haku. But uh, what? But but. Oh, okay. Wilson. Yeah. Get better with. With well, Angus. Angus is fine. Look at him. And he and Angus is stroking him and giving him Angus hugs. is stroking him, too? <laughs> <laughs> Wilson. And Wilson is stroking Angus and giving him hugs and kisses and feeding him an apple and everything. I look at Angus. Angus glares daggers into you. Angus, why do you hate me? <laughs> and he stomps one huff on the ground. Angus, enough of that. You're a good boy. Look, come over and apologize to Snow for hitting her in the head. Well, that really wasn't his fault. And But he was being mean. And Wilson brings Angus over to you. Uh-huh. And you two are looking at each other. Now apologize. I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Wilson. <laughs> Angus shakes his head. <laughs> no, say it like you mean it. <laughs> Now give her a kiss. Oh no, please. That's it's it's and, fine. And Angus kind of nibbles on your cheek. His phalange like mouth is just <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. goofing on my face. Ugh. All right, Snow. You've made up. You're good now. You can ride him. I'm just staring into the distance. Angus just like picks you up by your thighs. Angus picks me up too. <laughs> Wilson picks you up. Wilson just picks you up by your thighs and seats you on Angus. Snow continues to stare off into the distance. All right, let's go, everybody. And Angus mounts the horse. Ang well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping this. <laughs> and Wilson, are you sure it wasn't me who got hit in the head? I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> and Wilson just mounts the horse, and you guys are off to the east. Nachia. Oh, and is running shortly behind you. Good boy, good boy. Okay, and we are off on an adventure. All right, so this was a, basically a reenactment of the pre-recording sessions that me and Snow played. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it and get caught up and understanding a little bit more about how the characters met, and I hope you uh, got to get more of a feel for the scene and how the plot unraveled. And I hope that you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the podcast and the rest of the synopsis and that this was a great episode zero. All right, bye, everyone. Stay tuned. Oh, and one last thing. One last thing? You forgot. I did? Okay, so listen, guys. When we do the recap episodes, that means, guess what? You can skip episodes one to five. Yeah, because six, six is where we have much better audio. Is that when we got the Yetis? No, that's when we started. That's when Snow, myself, learned how to actually edit audio and oh, set up the mics. Amazing. You learned how to edit things? Yeah, and set up the mics. Well, I already knew how to edit. I just couldn't set up the mics. I didn't understand because these we were using OBS. It was terrible. And all these. Yes. Silly so, things. but the thing is, from episode six up to, I believe, eight or nine, is while it was still a solo play game. And then from there on, we had the lieutenant join us. And then from there, we were joined by all of the rest of the party. Yeah. So. You can pick up where you will. We just wanted to give you a taste of what actually happened in the beginning of our SAO odd. Okay, now you can go by. Bye. Right, bye, guys. Maximum Pew Pew is an actual play RPG podcast currently playing the Starfinder Dead Sons Adventure Path. Join Cena. She's got a lot of training, but she needs a role model. Ion. Have you heard of this thing called guns before? Maya. 
or going into a video game, guys. This has been my dream. And Zinka, did, did I just destroy a life form? As they race to rid the galaxy of a system-destroying weapon of cataclysmic proportions. In addition, Maximum Pew Pew has bonus content spanning Dungeons and Dragons, Predation, Tales from the Loop, and Free League's upcoming Alien RPG. You can find Maximum Pew Pew on Facebook, Twitter, and your favorite podcast syndicator.